Hi, if you are new to my channel, I have a passion in robotics and everything related to electronics. But along with the builds are the tedious gluing and painting, which is the least of my excitement. To top it all, Florida, although a sunshine state, is not all sunny with afternoon thunderstorms in the summer and freezing winter nights just makes the work all too consuming. The reason I decided to build a heat box. It's basically a box which utilizes a lamp to heat the chamber. But for us to control the temperature, we need to add a control box and a sensor inside the chamber. This will read the temperature and switches the lamp on and off accordingly to maintain the target temperature. With that, I started cutting a plywood as a platform for a control box later on. I also use a cardboard box which I obtained from the local hardware store. To see the inside, I added this transparent plastic enclosure from one of my project boxes which happens to be just lying around. bolt it in place. For the control box, I use a junction box also sourced from the local hardware store. I then created a hole as a vent for the electronics to breathe. Okay, so after cutting all the necessary holes, I mounted the receptacle. This is where the power goes in and it will go to this adapter which converts it to 5 volts which will power up the Arduino and also the power goes to this outlet. One line goes to this outlet directly and the other line goes to this relay before it reaches the outlet. So it, this relay will perform the switching operation that will turn on and off whatever device is connected to this outlet. In this case, it's a heat lamp. To give you a clearer picture, this is an illustration of the circuit. At the heart of it is an Arduino microcontroller which monitors the temperature inside the chamber through a temperature sensor. It will then switch on and off a relay which will supply power on and off to the receptacle which will in turn switches on and off the lamp to maintain the set temperature. Phew. Now for the rest of the electronics. I added a USB extension to access the Arduino and also a USB connector for the temperature sensor to plug into. I also 3D printed grills for the vents to give it a professional look. Now that the cables are tidy, it's time to close the cover. For the firmware, I grabbed an example code online and modified it for our application. It is basically using the DHT library to make use of the sensor's functionality. I assigned digital pins 2 and pin 6 as an input-output respectively. I then read the temperature as well as the humidity, setting the temperature max to 55 and minimum to 50 Celsius. Okay, so this is a heat lamp plugged into the outlet of this control box. And the control box itself is plugged into the AC supply. Uh, we have a laptop that monitors the temperature and this is the temperature sensor itself, DHT22. So if we turn on the device, so the lamp will turn on and the sensor will detect the temperature. 
You can make use of Arduino IDE's serial plotter to plot both temperature and humidity changes. As you can observe on this speed up clip, as the temperature rises, the relative humidity decreases as they are inversely proportional. Once the temperature reaches 55 degrees Celsius, the lamps turns off. Then you see the temperature dip, and when reached 50, the lamp turns on. This process will continue causing the temperature to maintain a certain range, which is suitable enough for this application. I then covered both the inside and top with aluminum foil to reflect the heat and reduce heat loss. I also added a porcelain tile for the objects to sit on. A hole is cut on top for easy mounting. Let's give it a try. Just in time for my next project. I glued a few parts with an epoxy and placed them inside and let the heat speed up the curing. And after some time, I checked the glued parts. I hope you find this video useful, and if you like this video, check my other videos as well. Thank you guys for watching.